Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today's a busy news day. We should go in. Okay. Um, <laughs> is it a busy news day? No. Well, I know you're going to say we is don't. It? Yeah, it's busy enough. Are you, are you not going to talk to me? You, you, you're going to talk Martin. to me about Meghan Markle and Piers? Not, not, too, not that much. Look, I, I, I think it's you know, I, I get that. It, I get that it's a distraction. I get that. But I no, think, I'll go with you. I can. I, we, your, I mean, we can judgment. do seven seven minutes of it because it it is a big story. No, I tell you, I mean, the Pierce Morgan thing, of course, is linked to the whole COVID thing. Um, I, I mean, I have no time for these conservatives now going going to the wall for him on that. Maybe maybe you would defend him. I'm like, what what's wrong with you people? What? Yeah. Do you think honestly think no? I I actually do you know what Laura? I'll be honest with you. Um, I very nearly vomited when yes. I turned to Twitter yesterday. I, mean, I don't know why I'm still on Twitter. It's evil. No, but, I know. But, I'd love to disconnect. You know, we, we've got these vestigial followers, haven't we? Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I saw various conservative people mm. sticking up for Piers Morgan. You're, you're and, made about so. Because I know that, you like that to that he's not, up, yeah. That he's not a racist. I, was, I didn't even know Toby had done it. Um, yeah, all the usual I just speech, think, blah, blah, blah. What are you playing at? Yes. This is just pantomime. You are just mm. helping Piers Morgan. I know. I, I love the way you say. I love the way you Irish say Piers, rather Pierce. than Piers. Hey, okay. all oh, right. Piers. I know exactly. Yeah. It's great. Um, the, 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 he's somebody who needs defending on anything. Um, I know. I there's know. A, there was a really good video I recommended the other day by a. Uh, he's this kind of brilliant. North Northumbrian, uh, and he's called Morgoth. Okay. And Morgoth was Morgoth was doing, and an, he does these analyses of really quite clever, critical analyses of different things. And he did one on put on Piers Morgan, and yeah. he captured exactly what he he pretends to be a populist, Ooh, when in I, fact I, I, he is totally. Actually, no, he's not. No, 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 no. We're so wrong. He's. Mm. He, no, he's part of. No, he's not. We're populist, basically. Well, uh, we're he's part of the system. I, no, yeah, yeah, he, absolutely. He, I, get, I, I agree with that. He plays well, with, with. He uses populist methods yes. to advance the, um, to advance the establishment's interests, and yeah. it's very interesting. That there's one interesting thing he does, which is, he has people like. Those various race baiting types, like um, Afu- Afua Hirsch yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. Ash Sarka, and yeah. he gets them on, yeah. and he has this pantomime debate with them about. Yeah. So you want you want to take down Nelson's column, do you? Well, I, Piers Morgan, yeah. think this is frankly ridiculous. You're off your trolley, and it's it, it's kind of punch and Judy. But what he's doing? No, I agree. What he's really. You know, but he's pretending to be against this stuff, but actually yes. he's endorsing it because he's bringing these nutcases, these oh, marginal they, they marginal even, people. They shouldn't even be on there. I agree. That's right. So yeah. he's making them a thing. They're not a thing. They're just yes. irrelevant. I the, the, back agree. in the day, they would have been writing letters in red crayon and yeah. ignored by everyone. But suddenly, Piers Morgan makes them possible. Whereas when he has somebody like tommy robinson on his sole purpose is to destroy and discredit him you see the difference he's bigging up a few hirsch and ash Sarker and all yeah. the rest but he's destroying any sign of a real populist revolt against this disgusting um woke establishment yeah. we've got well i okay, think he's so a very me, nasty no I, I, th- I think he's genuinely nasty and i don't so i'm gonna go back onto yeah. twitter now I, I think he's genuinely nasty which i don't like i mean you, you, I know people, I mean, there's, there's loads of stuff. So let's get, take Toby, you know, t- t- Toby, because he's, this is, so the Pierce Morgan tweeted out today that, you know, freedom of speech is the hill he's willing to die on. And I, and I said, give me a break. The only hill he are willing, he's willing to die on is the hill Mark Pierce Morgan. He, I mean, he, he blocks anybody who disagrees with him, including me. Okay, you could say f- f- fair enough. He t- but on, I don't even like his style because he shouts over people. He talks over people. He humiliates people. And, I mean, someone goes back to me, oh, you're, you're one to talk. All you do is rant. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not on ITV and I don't actually talk over a guest. And if I was a presenter. You're on something better than ITV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would hope I wouldn't. Very telling, 
to me, as it, and I, I would call myself more a conservative than, pop, than populist. I know they use the label of populist to say anything a lot of people don't disagree with. So, uh, I get, you know, I get that. But he, to me, he's kind of the pantomime conservative villain, right? If you were on the left and you were thinking, right, who, who can I get that just makes conservatives look bad, right? Pierce Morgan is the man you would want out there because his style is quite nasty and um, he's not really that conservative at all. He's completely self-obsessed. Has he? And, and of course, the, the, the critical test for me is, and I, I want to slag off Toby now, is he had, and I tweeted last night, I was like, I would have preferred if Pierce Morgan had been fired for... Um, trashing the mental health of the entire British population for the last year, right? Because this is supposedly the reason why he's gone is because he questioned Meghan's m m mental health and her, her, yeah, yeah. her suicidal ideation, which is niche. Everyone's saying, oh, they're, they're firing him because he says he's being racist or he's just disagreeing with, with Meghan. Now, we will probably disagree at that point. I actually think it's more niche than that. And it, is, it seems to be quite a specific point in relation to what she has said about her mental health. But aside from that, what was I ranting on about? And this is a rant. He, he's just, um, as you say, to me, he's the pantomime conservative villain. Um, there's no nuance in it. He, as you said, he completely bigs up people who shouldn't even be on that telly. Because remember, I saw on Lawrence Fox's uh, tweet, because he's, well, he's running for mayor now, right? Now, right? Okay. Yeah. And GMB were going to have him on a few days ago, supposedly. And then he gets the email, of course, the night before going, sorry, you're not going on because Morgan probably vetoed it. So as you say, he will have on like completely, you know, people really far to the left, give them huge mm. exposure, but he won't have Lauren Fox on because as you know, it, it will give him exposure, which is exactly what Morgan doesn't want. So the idea that Lauren Fox and Toby Young and the rest, oh, I'm going to take the high road here. I think I'm going to defend Pierce Morgan. Pierce Morgan has done more damage to this country by pushing this COVID fascism in the last year and has done probably genuine personal mental health damage to individuals, to your granny, to your auntie, to people who are hiding in their house, like actual damage to their mental health in the last year than probably anybody else on that fa COVID fascist style. The, I, that to me from now on is, your crit is the critical test. If you have co collaborated with this garbage, uh, not just garbage, dangerous, dangerous garbage. I don't want to know you. I don't want to talk to you. It's not that I particularly dislike you, although I don't, dis I don't like him at all. But um, I saw Melanie Phillips again in the Times going, oh, you know, Lawrence Fox, he's putting freedom of speech and the COVID stuff all in together and he's just wrong. And I'm like, you know what, you know what, Melanie, I just actually don't even, I'm not even interested in what you have to say anymore. Melanie's you, you, over. Yeah, you, so over. you used to be interesting. You're not interesting. Morgan is actually dangerous. I'm not interested in what you have to say. I'm certainly not interested in, in defending you because my I know we've said before we, we defend principle and I, I, I do that to an extent. But I also think, you know what, you actually have to do something to earn my loyalty. You know, if I'm going to spend my day defending you, I, I'm not going to defend someone, as I said, who has basically attacked the, the rule of law, civil liberties, who has proposed a system of apartheid for the British public uh, going forward in relation to this ridiculous fascist passport scheme so no yeah. I, i'm not i'm not going to defend you and there's plenty and then of flown off to antigua over christmas yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, having Which, taken the moral and, high ground and, and that's then... exactly he should have been fired for that i mean there's you know of course he could say you know he's being fired for the wrong thing and i agree he as i said he should have been fired for the attack on the mental health of the british people never mind for the attack on the mental health of of, Me of Meghan markle that's really what he should be fired for but you know what i'll, I'll settle for this and, and, and people, as I said, Toby and the rest of them, you know, oh, God, you know, I just, you know, I, I, we must be so, we really must go to the wall on, on this, on this, uh, on this freedom of This is weird. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, no, but Laura, I then, don't they, understand they'll, come it. For, they'll come for you next. They'll, they'll, they'll cancel you next. And I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I, I don't care. And people can who want you imagine, to defend me can, can defend you imagine me. Piers? Yeah. 
yeah, riding yeah, yeah. to the rescue of Toby Young. Can you imagine Pierce ever yeah, saying yeah, yeah. anything nice or, yeah. or doing has, anything like that for anybody? Have he, have he ever had him on in relation to promoting the, the, the Free Speech Union, which is a really important initiative of him? Has he ever had Toby Young on? I don't think he's... I, I'm not sure if, if he's had him on GMB, but kind of unlikely. Um, has he ever had anybody coherent on GMB in relation to this COVID fascism? No, he had Peter Hitchens on, I think, earlier. No. No, I mean, he is, he is appalling. He's awful. And um, yeah, to see all this, you know, this complete garbage, um, it, it's just, a, get, get, here, here's Toby from the Free Speech Union. Get Pierce Morgan back on GP, no, GMB. No. What is wrong with, can you just go and call your mate now? What is wrong with you? What is, seriously, what is wrong with you? Oh, no, but you know... Do you know, do you know who else he is, Piers, Piers Morgan, uh, um, among the other Sorry. many evil things he is? He's... Yeah. Um, have you, are you familiar with the Hunger Games movies? No. Sorry. I know the gist. Oh, no. I know the dystopian. I don't Nora. like that act. You know, I don't watch Hollywood movies. I don't watch any of it. The, the Hunger... Laura. Yes. You, I, I know that you do, you do quite like some elements of popular culture. The Hunger Games <laughs> movies are absolutely iconic and they're they're relevant now more than ever. I mean, you know what they're about, don't you? Yeah, uh, I know it's dystopian and that there are teenagers going around killing people or killing each other or something. Yeah. I mean I get uh, I, I get it. So but. so so there's this this place called Pan Am, which is basically America. And and it's divided into districts. Yeah. And there is the capital, which is corrupt decadent it's this it's it's basically the world economic forum it's the kind of people who go to davos every year yeah are in the in the in the capital they are sexually perverse they are yeah. they, they wear these outre fashions meanwhile the ordinary people basically the the deplorables the the the, the trump trump base are, di are are divided up into districts and there's yeah. the there's the kind of the wood chopping district and there's the i don't know the mining district and there and and they're ruled over brutally by this disgusting effete elite yeah. and there is this to entertain to to entertain the this this grotesque elite they have this annual competition called the the hunger games where a yeah. representative from each district fights they they fight to the death and if you win you get to you know you you get you get a good life and stuff anyway the guy who presents this show is somebody called Caesar Flickerman, who's, yeah, who's I, played I, I by Stanley Tucci. He's a yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a grotesque character, and th th this is this in a way is what what is happening now. What Piers M Morgan serves that function in that he arranges this sort of bread and circuses. He's the, he's the, this this oh, pantomime, he's, this Punch and Judy awful. show. He's... Meanwhile, the people of Panem are being are, are, are being ground down and destroyed, which yeah. is exactly what's happening now in the in, in yeah. the world. It's it's the, the the whole vaccine tyranny and the whole yeah. lockdown tyranny being imposed on us by these weird this weird elite by corrupt people like Anthony Fauci and and yeah. and um, I know Neil Ferguson. I know, and, I know. And, what can and I say? Piers I've... Morgan is their cheerleader. Yeah, no, he's awful. He's terrible. He's terrible. People who people on our side shouldn't be defending them. You should get a grip. Um and I, I just I don't have any time for it. I remember him really humiliating some pro life like some pro life speaker. Not like a big you know, this is the thing, he humiliates not like the politicians and as I said, people who I think are fair game, but just like random little people. And even people who aren't on your side, who are really not on your side, you're still looking at it going like this isn't right, like what you're doing. You know, you nearly have sympathy for whatever transgender guy or person you have on there. You know, you're just you're just barking at them. It's awful. But um that's enough of Pierce Morgan. I'm glad we agree on that. Um would you want to do Megan and Harry yeah. quickly? Will we just do them quickly? Because I mean I think it's an important value you, issue. You do them so that I don't have to. <laughs> oh, you don't have to. Just 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 rant for five minutes. I don't Again? care. No, I'm not I mean I just you know, I, I, I don't agree. I don't certainly don't believe a lot of a lot of what she says. And I mean, but it just comes down to the to the one one point, right? Is that you, you don't even even if you agreed with everything you said, okay, so let's park what you agree with. You don't go on national TV or international TV and trash your own family. Who 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 does that? Right? Ha, sorry, hang on a second. You're what? you're saying that she does have some points, are you? No, Not no, really, surely. As, no, no. As I, I like to part. I think I, just the woman should just shut up. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I agree. I agree. Well, that's my point. I agree. That, no, I was saying if I'm yeah. arguing with my lefty and you're there going to go, well, they are like, <laughs> what can we actually agree on? Will we agree she gave an interview and we can agree she shouldn't have yeah. given that in? But I tell you who I blame more. And, and the viewers, viewers, I actually now have, have an issue with the yeah. British public about this because what I don't buy is poor Harry. You know, poor Harry. He's been he's just been manipulated by this woman who's dragged him off to California. It's his family she's trashing. And he always to me, he's always wanted out. And the only way you get out of the royal family is by mar marrying an American divorcee. So as manipulative as she may be, she she was only she was only knocking on an open door there, right? He knew I, he knew the rules. That's the only way. Find an American divorcee. Yeah, you can get out of this. So she <laughs> comes along and he's thinking, finally, I can get out of this. And he's sitting there. You know, I'm like, man up. If this is the future of our young men, we are in serious trouble. He's sitting there letting his wife just trash his whole family. I, I mean, know. she didn't even criticize her own dad. She said the relationship is lost. But Oprah didn't goad her on there and saying, well, you know, tell us more. So she she refrained from trashing her own dad. She obviously didn't criticize her mom because she's still close to her. But the rest of them, you know, the rest of them, your, your, your sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, who supposedly they, they got on really well, Kate and Harry. Yeah, I'm just going to go for her and I'm just going to go for the entire institution. And you're, you're just and you're just looking at him and that you probably didn't watch it, did you? And there he is. And he's often his chicken. <laughs> He's, he's off in his chicken coop, and you're just like, wow. I mean, you're just like, wow. So they're living an authentic well, life. In this, a chicken yeah, coop. yeah. They have a chicken, dude. This is why you do have to watch it because you are a journalist. So they're 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 living an authentic life because this is California, right? An authentic life yeah, with yeah. their chicken coop in their massive mansion among the authentic celebs who we know are really authentic, and. Yeah. Um, and you're just looking at this and you're thinking, this is, I've never, I've never seen anything, this, this such, such bad behavior right in front of me, this trashing of your family right in front of me. You're just like, uh, uh, this is incredible. So to me, By the way, that's what makes it interesting. Yes, go on. Do you know how many houses Oprah's got? No, um, but you know Oprah, because Oprah's self-made. And Oprah doesn't go no, on a, the a, a, a friend of people. A friend of mine went to, a went lot. to um, paint, paint, you know, do some paintings, I think, of her house. And she's got, I think, five, it's either five or seven joined together. And each one of these things is a mansion with huge grounds in its own right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's got five houses joined together and, like, all her mates go and... My, I mean, my, my nice issue, work if you can get it. Yeah, yeah, my issue isn't with Oprah. She's self-made. She's been doing this for 20 years. I do think it must have been hard, right? 20, 25 years ago, black, black woman, I'm sure there was a lot of discrimination there. So my issue is not with her. Are you, my, are you coming my, out all over woke on me suddenly? No, I'm not. Is this I the mean, woke these, corner? These things can be true, right? I mean, in ho Holly... I, mean, I don't feel sorry for Oprah, present or past. I just think, her. you know... I don't feel sorry for her. Yeah. I'm neutral. I, she... she she doesn't generate any emotions to me. But what is worrying is, of course, a generational split here because about a half of millennials are siding with the Sussexes. Because, of course, what they've done here is what millennials always want to do. If you don't like your job, jack it in. If you don't like your family, jack it in. Um, if, if a courage if you, don't is, like, if you don't like your gender, change your gender. If you don't gender. like your gender, jack it in. Juicy tradition and all of that is worth nothing. It's, it, what, what is worth something is being on international TV and, 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 and airing your dirty laundry. And if your kids, and this is the only thing I tweeted, or one of the few things I tweeted about, it, if your kids are on their side, you, you need to have a chat with them. You know, would, would you do this to me? Would you go on national TV and, and trash your parents? Um, do you really think it's, it's a good thing for Harry just to abandon his entire family? He'll probably never speak. He may never speak yeah. to his father again. He'll never speak to his brother again. His, the, the, the two children, the cousins will probably very rarely meet. You see, this is, this is it. So it is, there, it does raise important issues. And there was one other thing I was going to say. Yeah, I think Harry's getting off lightly. But that's because the British media, I think, feel guilty for the way they treated him back at Diana's funeral and more or less made him walk behind her coffin. So the British public has, has guilt issues going on here. They're letting Harry off easily. Um, but uh, Megan is obviously terrible. But she she was not she was knocking on an open door there, and um, it is it, it it's just incredible to see such bad behaviour being lauded 
as and this is it's not just it's a, it's not just that the, the two generations don't understand each other it's that it's, it's the complete opposite so the older generation yeah. the older generation doing your duty doing your job respecting your family despite their flaws right um and and not complaining too much that's a virtue whereas for the millennials getting out of any difficult situation be it job family um and and telling everything that's actually courage but the the older generation would say no that's that's completely the opposite it it, it, it isn't courageous but i mean oh, this is my final thing is you know when you're asking she, it, i think she did tell a lot of truth in that and and the truth was and she said this at the beginning of the interview is that she was naive going into it which i believe and she said the she actually said the reality didn't match the fantasy right so she and she said the one of the tours was exhausting which is true so the foreign tours are exhausting she's over there in africa i think and having just had the just had archie so she's really tired and then um, she's thinking oh my god like what have i signed up to i've got 20 or 30 years of this i'm going to be completely wrecked if you're not in Australia or Africa exhausted you're up in Middlesbrough right opening a cement factory at 3 p.m on a Wednesday in January and it's two degrees right so there's nothing glamorous and that she's thinking well I don't want to be doing I don't that. want that job yeah so no one wants it no that's that, that, actually the point so she's taking she's thinking oh my god I I, I I I don't want that either and then the press aren't very nice to you right they're pretty nasty and you're over here in a foreign country with family you don't know so she's basically told the truth the, the reality doesn't match fancy and so she wanted out that that that's all it comes yeah. down to you know I, right. I don't think it's right and i think harry should have done better but um it's uh yeah as i say if you want to be treated like royalty become a celebrity if you want to be treated like garbage become royalty right because when you're a celebrity in I'm... la all the attention is on you 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 are what count but when you are in the children's hospital on a thursday it's the kids are what counts when when kate is yeah. touring the kids hospital she's not that important it's the sick kids that are important or the workers in the middlesbrough cement factory they're the people who count so i yeah. mean Megan thought she was getting the celeb life with with the tiara. No, 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 no. So you're getting the broader drudge with the tiara. So that that's the, the thing. The, the the broader problem here. I, yeah. I I read this. Somebody I think did a, a, a tweet thread or maybe it was an article. No, somebody on on Twitter, Twitter pointed me to an article he'd written. Um, what was he called? Um, I forget. Go Named on. after a, an admiral, maybe. Um. <laughs> He he said, "Look, we've lost we people like you and me. We've lost the culture war. We lost it long time ago. And and this is this is normally the kind of defeatist attitude that I deplore and actually unfriend yeah. people for and etc. But actually, I think his general point is is right that mm. that that Meghan and Harry are the embodiment of a culture which you and I despise and all our listeners utterly despise. But actually, this is this is the culture we live in now. We live in a culture yeah. where Piers Morgan, despite being nauseatingly, grovelingly woke, can yet get get sacked allegedly or, or, yeah. or allegedly for, for, for sort of les majesty for somebody who's not even a even a member of the royal family she's just some random random hollywood gold digger but this is this is where we are and i think that that um our job yeah. as far as what you said just then about how children ought to respect their parents and they yeah. ought to you know the, you don't diss your family in public and stuff like that these uh these are values which really don't have they're not they're not in fertile ground at the moment so we have no. to what we have to do people like us is i'm afraid take to the hills take to the forests like, like partisans if you like and we are fighting this guerrilla war mm. against against the prevailing culture and that's that's not a bad bad place to be by the way you know the night belongs to charlie we are we are basically the Viet Cong now and we are yeah. fighting or the Viet Minh actually we're fighting the french we're, no, no, we're, it, and, and we're not we're not engaging yeah. in set piece battles. But remember, if mm. you know your history, you know what mm -hmm. comes at the end of the, um, the 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 French rule in 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 Indochina. Uh, you don't do you, Laura? Win. Well, I yeah, I do. You don't you don't know you don't know enough about war, do you? Because you're a girl. And that's, do you I, not know I about know D and B and Fu? I know a lot more. They they D and D and B and Fu. 
No, I don't know that. I thing. mean, if you are if you are the Viet Minh, which we are in this scenario, it's bloody awesome. I mean, like the French have this this well defended base. Yeah. D and B and Foo. And what we do is we do the impossible. We drag our guns through the jungle, yes. up into the heights. You know, up these seemingly impassable tracks. Un, right. Unwatched by the French helicopters or aircraft, or whatever. Yeah. And we then we we destroy them. Well, you have. And gone, isn't that great? But that's a long time. That's a long you, time hence. You have gone for a military analogy. This this plan is not um is not new or original. I'm afraid it's because there was a book published again. Did I say on, it was? No, I know. There was a book published in the Catholic world um about a, a, a three or four years ago called the Benedict Option. And it was similar. It was basically, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tweet it out. It's, 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 it's good. It was similar to what you were saying. And obviously, you are not, you know, you're not as cat, you're not Catholic. But they were similar. They were. It was an American book. They said, look, it's over. We've lost on everything. We've lost on abortion. We've lost on gay marriage. We've lost. I think, yeah. you know, we're going to lose on the transgender stuff. We, it's over. Um, we can't influence really the politicians or public public uh, opinion anymore. All you can do is save yourself and your family. And that this is what the Benedictine monks did uh, after the fall of Rome, is that they, you know, they, they, they went to the, the, the monasteries, they kept the Christianity alive, and eventually yeah. they won through. So this, this, is gone, this has been in the States for a while, um, and I certainly, you know, I've read the book. But it's actually, I think I'm going to reread it again. Um, and they're, you know, but I think even by you and me doing this, though, we haven't gone full Benedict, right? Because they would just be like, just don't bother with any of it. Delete your Twitter, Twitter account. Delete everything. Don't bother with the podcast because it's over. Just save yourself, save your family and your immediate community if you can. Um, and, and, and that's it. But then part of me thinks, you know, there is something selfish about that in terms of just completely cutting loose and, and letting everybody else fall down the, the yeah. rabbit hole. Um, so I try and balance it, but yeah, I mean, there's often loads of times during the week where like, um, yeah, I, I can't be doing with this anymore. This is, this is taking up too my energy. This is taking too much up too much of my energy, but, um, yeah, it's a good book and you could definitely be applied. I think to anybody who isn't, you know, as, as classic as I would be. Um, I think it's always a, um, you know, it's always a balance. It's always a debate, isn't it? How, 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 you know how how much how much in the public eye or how much public work do you do you want to do you want to do? But we should we should I think we've only about ten minutes left, um, so we should do where we are in this COVID fascism, which of course is terrible, is the biggest threat to Western civilization. Um, they're pushing along with these outrageous vaccine va- vaccine passports. And I texted you that article that they just dropped in the spectator about, oh, yeah, probably we're probably going to have to vaccinate the kids. Did you not see that? This is, the, I, I did see it and I so did our not. Viewers know. I, I thought it was I thought it was awful. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was absolutely disgraceful. It, it, yeah. it, it was like they they conceded the battle before it had even yes. been fought. This is what this is what really bothers me a lot about um, people on our side. You know, I mean, yeah, like. Julia Hartley Brewer, for example, saying, oh, I'm going to get the vaccine because I love my holidays. Yeah, well, no, I mean, I no, one could, no one could have guessed that from following her feed every, every, every time Easter or whatever comes along. She's always jetting off. And that's fine. Lord. That's her prerogative. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what she is doing is she is already accepting that we live in a world where these vaccine passports exist. Yeah. They don't exist. And so long as there is a block of us, and, mm. and thank goodness for the ethnic minority community particularly, who are particularly yeah. um, strong on this issue, so long as we have a, a decent block that says, hang on a second, I'm not going to get vaccinated, and I think it's outrageous that you you, you keep me a prisoner in my own country and prevent me from travelling. Yes. As long as we have a block, the, the, the battle is, is far from over, and mm. people who are surrendering preemptively I, yeah. I, 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 my contempt is strong. I think it's no. wrong, and it, yeah, was, I agree. it was weird that the Spectator wrote that wrote that piece. They should be fighting for the right of people to be able what? to choose. Well, I mean, informed consent. It's simple as yeah. that. And the Spectator did, did you see the? Did you see my interview with the uh, Israeli woman? 
Oh, uh, I saw. Come if you up, haven't watch it, I think I, I think it may well. No. It would tip me over, James. I, I know it would. Yeah, Laura, it will tip you over, but it's important. It, it, it's it's. You know, if you can force yourself, her name's Ilana Rachel yeah. Daniel, and yeah. she's one of the people. She 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 lives in Israel, and where they are forcing sixteen-year-old girls to take this I know, this crazy. mRNA crazy. altering altering substance, it's which is not a vaccine, yeah. and research has shown that 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 there have been a, there's been a massive spike in deaths which can't be attributable to this alleged virus it's 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 obviously the vaccines that are doing it and they and they're just they because of their dodgy deal with Pfizer they're just moving forward they're bulldozing forward i mean it's a bit like they're bulldozing in a, a settlement i, I know, and, you it's, know it's, i i I've, I've always defended israel yeah. and suddenly uh, it's showing the colors that all the critics of Israel have always said this is what Israel's like. It's a it's a brutal fascist mm-hmm. state, and suddenly I'm seeing it. You know, Netanyahu is 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 forcing this this horrible yeah. program on on the Jews of all people. That yeah, you, know, you would have thought that there would be lessons from history about conducting sort of Mengele type experiments on on Jews, yeah. uh, but but apparently not. Apparently it's okay now. Well, it, it's also, and I, I saw the point, is that if you, and if you talk to people now who had the vaccine, they rarely say it's to protect my health. It's exactly, as you say, so I can go on holiday, so I can go here, so I can go that. So that is a form of coercion. And as you, and, and someone said, you know, to, to, to both for testing and medical treatment, you have to give a free and informed consent and if you coerce someone, and I think basically threatening to strip them of their civil liberties is a form of coercion, no. then it's no longer a free consent. So you've committed a criminal, the nurse who gives it has cr- committed a criminal battery on that person. And the entire fascist Johnson government um, has, has committed yet another massive human rights abuse. Um, no, it's, it's and what people will do again, who've gone along with it from the start. Oh, I'll just wear my mask. It'll just be a few minutes. Okay. I'll just get the kids tested in school. I'll just keep my head down. Okay. I'll just make the, the kids have a mask. It's just for a couple. Okay. I'll just get the vaccine. Um, you know, so I can go on holiday. And then it's like, are you going to give it to your child? Are you just going to, I mean, seriously get a grip. It's been around for nine months. You have no idea what this is like. Just, as I said, you, just some prudence. Just a, just stand back and consider what you are doing. Is this really, is this really necessary? I mean, we have, I mean, you'll say that I have, I have surrendered now. We've already accepted, we will probably not go abroad again for a while. Although Greece has said, yeah, you can come as long as you get a negative COVID test, which I can probably live with. So, but I will not get on a plane. That's fine. I will not go into a pub. I will not go in a restaurant if, if, I, if I cannot because you brought in your stupid vaccine passports because I am not getting your stupid vaccine. And my kids will certainly not get my stupid vaccine. And, and that's it. And I don't care how crappy you want to make my life. You know, you, gotta, you have to take a stand at some point. And bodily integrity you know, Laura, is, a good, is, a good, is a good place to start, you know. Uh, I I know this. One of the, the people who treats me for my um, oh, for my Lyme disease yes. does a lot of other. She's really good um, at treating so-called long COVID. Yes. Um, which is actually just just post post viral um, complications. It's yeah. the, You know, it's it, it's the same you get after you've had flu. After lots of people get it. Yeah. But she said that there's been a worrying increase in. At the top of your nose is mm. this is this thin bony plate with holes mm. in it, and it's called the cribriform plate. Mm. And the cribriform plate is 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 what the um, the um, the flu- the fluid passes through in your um, lymphatic system. So the lymph uh, yes. it, it connects with the hypothalamus, and if you damage the cribriform plate then you're going to cause serious complications, particularly with, with children. What are they doing to children at the moment? They are testing them. They're shoving this stuff right That's up their so nose. so bad. I don't and know why damaging the cribriform plate. 
Yeah. And nobody's making a fuss about this. No, it's incredible what the parents have gone along with, with their self, the this re- abuse of self-isolation regime, with the masking, with the testing. I, 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 as I say, I'm literally lost for words that people will go along with this. I, I find it just, it's just like, what's wrong with you? These are your children. You are supposed to be there to defend them. If someone came and knocked on my door and, and decided to start threatening to shove something up my healthy child's nose, I'd call the police. But once you, you know, but if it's the NHS. Yeah, and, and then arrest and you for says, obstructing healthcare workers. Yeah, yeah. And Boris, if Boris says it, then it must be. I, I just, uh, yeah, I'm lost for words. Which brings me, actually, I, wouldn't, I, I don't normally do this. But oh, yeah, because I put in my text message and you didn't even give me any comeback is that we are now expecting baby number four so we are pleased with that <laughs> well th- congratulations yeah. um but, no 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 that, that that is good sorry i i was distracted um and, yeah. I, and I being a man you know we don't get yeah, yeah. quite so so it but it's linked because people sometimes actually ask me are you going to get the vaccine and i'm like i don't drink caffeinated tea so no, I am not going to take an experimental MNRA vaccine Ooh, while pregnant. Laura, I mean, Laura, what's wrong with people? We've got to go now, but many yeah. congrats. But listen, there's something something you've got to do, and I'm really this is my new discovery. Oh no, my awesome. new discovery. I've got. Uh, did I mention I've got a water distiller? <laughs> it's it's the best thing. It's is the it, best new thing I've got. We have a filter. But not at the, what, no, no, this is, no, 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 you, you, this, this takes, this takes out, you, this takes out all the crap, you know, when you, when you smell oh. the crap that comes out of the water, the chlorine, the fluoride, all this nasty gunk, if, and if, you if, don't want your kids yeah, being I know. infected by the stuff, you, you don't want their IQ being reduced by, <laughs> by fluoride, which is what it does, by the way, you know, and then, no, no, by no, three, you see, three IQ points. You, well, this explains a lot, because they put fluoride in the water in Ireland, so I've always grown up with it. Think how I yeah, could. So you could have been that bit. Your, your band could have been that little I bit I could have sparkier. been a stage scientist if I hadn't. If I hadn't had all the fluoride. Think how smart I would be, where I could plot to take down my adopted country. Oh my god! Yeah, but, right. but that's We've probably. Got to go now because I need yeah, to hand over go. the office. Okay, to but my I'm wife. glad we got it in. I may have talked too fast at some point. Sorry about that. No, right. Laura, that was great. People are going to be. I tell you, people will be so happy that they because they've been missing you. They need you. They do. I know. Uh, I, and, and also you've delivered that Megan crap it. that they want, probably. Yeah, yeah, I mean, wow. Right. Keep I mean, we've got to go. Okay. Take it easy. Bye, James. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.